For God so loved the world, the whole world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. The whole world, that's a pretty big place. Seven continents, 195 countries, over 7 billion people. And God knows every one of them, including you, including kids who live next door to you, and including kids who live 4,000 miles away in countries like Uruguay, the Dominican Republic, and Peru. But the sad thing is, lots of kids living in these places don't know how much God loves them. They don't even know who Jesus is or what he did for them. But do you know what? We can help change that. Keep listening and I'll tell you how we can tell Spanish-speaking kids all around the world all about the Savior. Do you know anyone who speaks Spanish? We have lots of Spanish speakers in the United States, but most Latinos, people who live in Central and South America, also speak Spanish. Each country of South and Central America is so different and has so many really cool things to see and do. You can explore the Great Pyramids of the Mayas, rising as high as 20-story buildings in Southern Mexico, or round up alpacas in the highlands of Bolivia. You can grab your goggles and snorkel along the coral reefs of the Dominican Republic or hop down to the tip of Argentina where penguins nest on the rocky beach. In the cities and villages, you'd see things that look very different from life in the United States, like this market where people are selling their fruits and vegetables. People in some countries, like Guatemala, can be very poor. Moms and dads can work all day long and still make less than $20. In other places like Ecuador and Chile, some people's homes have been destroyed by earthquakes and tsunamis. They have had to dig through their collapsed homes to try to find their belongings. Especially when hard things like this happen, people need to know and hear that God loves them. But the problem is that a lot of the kids and families in Central and South America don't know that they can put all their trust in God, their Father. And this is how we can help. There's a mission organization called the Lutheran Heritage Foundation, and their job is to translate the books about Jesus that we have here in the United States into other languages so that people in other countries can read and understand them too. Right now, LHF is hard at work translating a Bible storybook called A Child's Garden of Bible Stories into the Spanish language. A Child's Garden of Bible Stories is a really great book that tells all about how God made the world, how Adam and Eve sinned, and how God sent them a Savior, Jesus. When the book is written in the Spanish language, kids in Chile, Peru, Mexico, and Cuba can read all about how Jesus loves them, too, and always hears their prayers. What's really amazing is that these books only cost $5 for LHF to print, and then they give the books to the Spanish-speaking kids for free. One of the people who will use the books is an LCMS missionary in Uruguay, a country in South America. Pastor James Sharp often works at a Lutheran school called Colegio San Pablo. Hi, I'm Pastor James Sharp, and I'm here at Colegio San Pablo and Iglesia San Pablo in Montevideo, Uruguay. I'm an LCMS missionary serving here alongside the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Uruguay, our newest sister church. A children's garden of Bible stories would be a great tool for us to use both in our Christian education classes as well as in our Bible schools and Sunday schools and vacation Bible schools that we have here. It would be such a great help for us because uh, here in Uruguay, the country is very secularized. Uh, kids just don't grow up in Sunday school. They don't grow up in church. All that they are learning, these kids are learning, uh, they're learning here at the, the school. Caitlin Warden, a Lutheran deaconess and missionary, also can't wait to have the books delivered to her Mercy House in the inner city of Lima, Peru. Having this book would be a great resource not only for the church to use in our teaching of Sunday school and in our daily chapel teaching the kids each day the Bible stories, but it would also be a wonderful gift to give to each of our families. 
Um, we use with our kids books and Bible stories and gifts and things for memory work for prizes when they're learning their catechism and the Bible verses each week. We also give away gifts like that for Christmas and different things. And sometimes for our kids, those are the only gifts that they're receiving for Christmas or the only gift that they've received for their birthday. So those things become so important in, in brightening their life and, and showing them God's love in that way. But it would also be so important for them to have that in the house. Have a Bible that they can pick up and read themselves. A Bible that they can share with their parents and teach them those same Bible stories that they're learning and share that same love of Christ that they're learning each and every day with us in the church. Thank you for your help in giving missionaries like Caitlin and Reverend Sharp the books they need to tell Spanish-speaking kids about Jesus in a language that they can understand. Just think of it. Every $5 you send to LHF will give your Latino friend a book that they can keep forever. A book that will remind them over and over that God loves them so much that he sent his only son for Spanish-speaking kids too. Listen to children in Peru as they share the good news with you from John 3.16, or as they say in Spanish, Juan Tres, Dieciséis. Okay.